Uh, today we'll be checking out Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000. <clears throat> Which I'm sure is going to be awesome. Is this a lacrosse game? It is. <clears throat> Race, series, time trials, custom rider, freestyle, track editor, options, <clears throat> accelerate, rear brake, front brake, look back, stunt. Is that... Why does the LZ, the first one... Why is it so bad looking? Camera. Difficulty beginner. Uh, maybe we'll put it on amateur. Extremely funny, Titus. Oh, yeah. I am tackling over here. <laughs> uh, Christian, thank you for the 52 month resub. 52 in a row. New rider. Hello, the challenge phase. <laughs> this is Wario. <laughs> Wario, Waluigi. <laughs> Thank you for the 69, dudes. <laughs> All right, I guess we're doing the series. Wait, so there's a difficulty, but there's also a CC. We got Jeremy McGrath, Dowd, Alberton, Button, Wyndham, Tortelli, Travis Pastrana. He did a double backflip. Ramsey, Bab. Screw this, I ain't being my character. I'm being Travis Pastrana. Indoor Supercross. Welcome everybody to Minnesota. 
This will be the first race for the Indoor Supercross Series Championship. Three, two, one. The game drop. Oh my god, what the heck? Do I not have to do like my down and up, you know, like make sure the bike lands on the hill properly? Oh so can we Jesus. <laughs> That's horrible. <clears throat> How do I I don't know if you can go in reverse. There's like no physics, you just drive. Like, I don't even know if you can crash. I've, I've literally not let go of accelerate this whole thing whole time. <laughs> yeah, these graphics are nowhere near as good as Excite Bike. Or honestly the other game we played. Supercross 2000, I think. I feel like I can't crash. I've not let off the accelerator. I haven't touched brake. I haven't even coasted. Have that happen. <laughs> well, I think there's invisible walls, too. No, I chose amateur, which is like normal. Beginner is like easy. I moved it up to amateur. <laughs> Hello, quite. Chad, I tried to cheer Barb up today because he's frustrated by the shell hack he's playing. So I said, Barb, I had a chicken bacon Swiss from Arby's. But he didn't seem too thrilled. I thought that might make his day. Oh, you can crash. They all crashed into the wall, did they? That's the only edible thing from there. I just destroyed that guy.
Yeah, that's what it looks like it says. No fear. Have no fear. You can't crash in this game. Arby's has a Wagyu burger. There's no way that's like real Wagyu or whatever. Yeah, I'm not really into mozzarella sticks. <laughs> it seems like they should be like top tier, but I just, I don't know. I don't like them that well. Yeah, Excite Bike was pretty fun. It, uh, was certainly more difficult to control than this, but not... It wasn't annoying like that other one we played. <laughs> like, I don't even... I feel like these bumps, whatever they called, the, like, hill on the turns to let you turn better, like, I don't think they're even doing anything. Like an Excite Bike, you had to use those to do a turn decently. I don't know, in this I'm turning fine, just completely ignoring it. Other than that. I did, Wyatt. Yeah, I don't think you can adjust your, like, tilt, whatever you call it, like, like, I shouldn't be able to hit one of these slopes like I just did, like, it hit it at the peak of it, that should make me crash, but I'm just ignoring them, like, I don't have to do anything. I didn't use my custom guy anyway. I'm using Travis Pastrana. He did a double backflip. I checked my P.O. box? No. Is there something in there? Atlanta. We have a great race in store for us here in Atlanta. We are all ready for the third race of the Indoor Supercross Series. Three, two, one. I wonder what this music is. <clears throat> it's like unlicensed music. Oh, okay, I didn't know I had to do that. <laughs> oh, this drummer needs to calm down.
Oh, if this game stays easy like this, it should be a quick clear, I feel, right? <laughs> oh, Jeremy McGrath probably made bank off this. There's an Offspring song in this. <laughs> you think Tony Hawk made more money off the video games or his other stuff? I know like Aerosmith made more money from Guitar Hero Aerosmith than all their album sales combined. Yeah, I mean he's won like prize money and he has his own I think Birdhouse is his brand of skate stuff. It is true. I might have the fact wrong, but... I, I swear. It's not saying the game sold more copies. I think it's more saying Aerosmith got scammed. Like, I'm sure the record label made more than them. I bet back, way back in the day, they barely got anything from selling music. <laughs> Imagine the record labels Welcome don't get this is the as of scammy the these days. Three, two, one. <laughs> I forget whose stream I was in, they were saying the video game industry made more than the movie and music industry combined, like, this last year or something like that. Kinda wild. This track's actually a challenge, mostly because I don't know where I'm going. Oh, it's mostly from MTX. <laughs> Genshin Impact, despite the insane amount of money that Elden Ring pulled in. Genshin Impact made more. Generic metal. Probably heavily compressed. I'm sure it at least sounds a bit better on like CD audio.
I want exposure to a... Well, actually, RuneScape 3 has tons of microtransactions, but... It's not really a competitive game, other than high score ranks, I guess. But Clash Royale, man, I played that so much. And, ugh. I, got, I had to quit. It's a stupid pay to win, man. I get so tilted by people like two levels higher than me with higher rank cards. And they make like a bad play, but they still win the battle because they just have a higher leveled thing. And I was playing a lot. I never gave them a penny. Screw that. Yeah, there's definitely a big disconnect with AAA devs. Why did they all go the wrong way? AAA devs and indie devs, I feel. Like, obviously there's like From Software, who, at least so far, does not seem to want to delve into Adolin and microtransaction stuff. Even Nintendo, for the most part, hasn't. They just have like a physical thing and amiibos. But I feel like a, I feel like people who buy amiibos don't do it to gain a benefit in game. They just collect them. I don't feel like that's the pull of the Amiibos. Does Nintendo own Skylanders? the end of the Japanese game, gonna have to watch the VOD. But what's wrong with Mario Odyssey's costumes? Isn't it just you grind to unlock them? A uh, good cat, thank you for the 22 month resub. I appreciate it. Okay, the AI is getting obliterated here. There's definitely not rubber banding. are helping you find purple coins. I don't remember that. <laughs> I mean, Miyamoto's great, but he also, from what I've read, causes a lot of issues at Nintendo. Like, I think he put an extreme emphasis on the vibration of the Joy-Con. It was something like that. Like, Joy-Cons have this absurdly accurate vibration feature that's just insane, and it's like, how many people care? about that. Like he's really into the gimmicks of all the technology. 
Like, he wants it to be quirky and stuff, and... I don't know. Like, I guess there was something with the Switch, or maybe it was something else. Like, one of his hobbies is just measuring the length of stuff. Like, he's just like, oh, I wonder the length of this desk. And he wanted to be able to use the Joy-Cons to do that or something. I don't remember. I hate the Wii. God, I hate the Wii. But it's, yeah. I think that's one of the things that keeps Nintendo's hardware so behind is... That you can make the argument that the Switch has done well due to the portability, but... I don't know, what if they just kept it as... home console and the portable console, and like, how they'd been doing. Like, the DS has done fantastic throughout its whole existence. Like, how well would the Switch be doing if they kept it separate? Like, is Nintendo doing as fantastic as it seems? Because now they only have one console to push out, you know? Because there were probably people buying a DS and a Wii U, or 3DS and a Wii U. Yeah, the Switch is the fourth highest selling, but how does it compare to, like, DS and GameCube, com or DS and Wii combined, or 3DS and Wii U combined, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to say like, oh my god, Nintendo's about to go under, I'm just... I don't know. I wish we got a more powerful home console. Like, I've never taken my Switch portable. I'd rather have a non-portable Switch with the same power than just... I paid less for. You know? Like, if it's going to be this powerful, I should pay less for it. Switch games compatible with Wii U? No. I don't think there's ever been a console that had reverse backwards compatibility. <laughs> Unless you just like that wrong. You can't play Wii U games on the Switch. If that's what you were saying. You could play Wii games on the GameCube? I don't think so. We have the top racers yeah, you guys are all agreeing with me. We are all set. For the seventh race of the indoor Supercross series. Three, two, one. We're all on the same page here. 
You guys just don't realize that we are. Game Boy Color games. That seems like one where it would work because the cart would fit in the console. But I imagine the Game Boy Color like got more power than just literally, oh, we have color now, so they probably developed their games to utilize the stronger hardware. <laughs> Can you uh, pop an Xbox 360 game into the whatever the current Xbox is called? Does that work? That's impressive. I really like that. Sony did that for a while, but then they stopped. Wait, it won't play? What the heck? I've been lied to. Uh, Coach and Chill, thank you for the, uh... The raid, I really appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. <laughs> they probably are incentivized to make that not a thing now, that way they can re release their game. Like, oh, you want to be able to play your Switch games on the Switch U? <laughs> Maybe buy them on the eShop. First day as an affiliate. Uh, congrats. Nice. Contra style Turok. I've never heard of that. I played, I think it was the original Contra on the Xbox Arcade, and there was an achievement to do it with one credit. It took me so long to do that. We are about to begin the eighth and final round of the Supercross series. Three. Wait, who put cheese in their PS2? Why would you do that? This wasn't Nintendo's game. This is all a claim. Nintendo had their own in-house game, Excite Bike 64. Which, unless this game somehow changes, Excite Bike was way better. <laughs> Did 
stop a trap reverse. I'm gonna find that commentator. <laughs> Maybe he's on cameo. I know some of those guys are or something. Cause I Eat Your Pie has the Pokemon Stadium guy. He did a sub alert for him. I know like the Halo guy oh, is. Oh yeah. Stop lurking. Uh, Grazi, thank you for the seven month resub with Prime Gaming. I don't know, I want to get new alerts. I should just get a bunch of alerts, it's kind of like Barb does. Barb just always has new alerts. <laughs> like, my sub alert has been the exact same thing since I first got partnered, like literal day one. Like it's beyond time to get something new. Yeah, X-Water keeps coming up with a new alert every month. <laughs> no, sometimes I've crashed and I drop back, but I always recover. I'm not even on easy, I'm on like medium or normal. <laughs> oh shoot, did we win? GG. Congrats, you have placed first. A special stunt track is now available. Wait, the speed runs 40 minutes? Did we just get world record? Wasn't there two? S yeah. I guess we'll do all three of these. I don't know. Why not? <laughs> so these are outdoor tracks. <clears throat> Today's race is at Glen Helen Raceway. This is the first race for the Outdoor National Series Championship. Three, two, one. Whoa, what is this perspective? What the heck? This is way different. Well, this outdoor track is at least more interesting. Oh, this is all turns. It's so annoying. Is that guy singing off tempo? Maybe. Did the camera right there? It's so weird.
It is so hard to crash. <laughs> that should have been an extremely should have been a crash. one of those games that's just like busy work. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Why is it at the very bottom? I should be in the center. Maybe not the center, but I don't know. Further from the bottom of the screen than he is. run Trials. I played a lot of Trials HD on the uh, Xbox 360. God, it's like it's so hard to... I think this is the best camera. I beat like every track on Trials. I had a, uh, I had one of the top ranked scores on a couple of the mini games. There was like one where you rode inside of a metal ball or something like that. I don't remember really. Yeah, I played it a lot. I got pretty good. I mean, this was Trials HD. I've not played any other ones. It was annoying because, like, for I think if you were in the top thousand, you could watch a replay of somebody's run. And every rank one was, like, hacker, or they just did a glitch or something. I was like, well, this is lame. <laughs> it's not like the game was dead. This was when it was pretty new. <laughs> it feels like every game ever that has an online leaderboard gets ruined by hackers. And it's just so annoying. Like, why do they... <laughs> I get hacking to, like, solve a puzzle. Like, be like, can I hack this? But I don't... Like, if you're like, I can hack it, put in a bad score. Don't make yourself number one. Like, Jakku is a good example. He hacked... He found all kinds of hacks for Mario Maker, like, way before they became, like, well-known. He didn't go around ruining the game, getting impossible clears and stuff. He just did it to see if he could do it. Of course, then one day some guy figured it out and was bragging on his YouTube page and like people were saying, dude, don't share this, it's gonna ruin the game. And he was like, I don't care about this game, cry more. I'm like, what a freaking loser. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... But 
annoying. Like it's frustra it's really frustrating with like script oh, kitties who yeah. just download a thing they found on Google. Yeah, but what if I share this? Thab piggy, thab piggy. I think it's even more frustrating that there's very smart people that found the hack themselves and then just used it themselves to ruin the game. Or just distributed it everywhere. It's like like, man, you're not, like, some little kid. Like, clearly you're a smart person. You figured this out. Why did you do that? Uh, Hank3, thank you for the 33-month resub. If you share that, you are a Giga Chad. One of the greatest of all time. I remember way back in the day, I was playing Halo 2 online, and there was this guy, like, he got ejected from the game. But, like, for a while in the game, he would just shoot the sniper, and it would headshot everybody in the room. I was like, like, what do you do, man? But I guess they had some kind of anti-cheat, because he got booted from the lobby. That would have been a long time ago. I don't care if you cheat, hack anything in a single player experience, but even a single player game, if it has a leaderboard, you're now in a multiplayer experience, so you're affecting other players. Oh, there was a bug in, um... Ah, it was in NCAA Online. My brother would do this. Uh, if you quit out of a game, it would count as a loss. If your internet cut out, it would count as a loss. But if you pulled the ethernet cable out and then put it back in, like, real quick, you would disconnect, but then the game would detect you as online, so it thought the other player <laughs> thought the other player disconnected. And so it would just let you win. God, I beat the AI by 21 seconds. So I think we'll beat this today. It seems like there's three circuits. I mean, we'll just do them all. I don't know. It's not like it's hard. And then... There's a track editor. We'll look at that. I think there's like a freestyle mode. We'll look at that. We'll see if there's any cheat codes and then GG. Yeah. Uh, an anonymous gifter, thank you for gifting a sub to not Ash. I appreciate it. <laughs> I 
Like, look how ahead I am. This is crazy. The outdoor tracks are at least more interesting than the indoor ones. Those all felt the same. <laughs> uh, Mario Maker 2. You've actually been issued a challenge by Iculus. Because he just... He always thinks I don't got what it takes. The PS5 is not up for grabs, so this must be a fair challenge. Whenever the PS5 is up for, is at stake, it's always some rigged challenge. That's not an Iculus level. I don't think Iculus has ever been tier 3. He said the tier 3 emotes suck. Which most of them do. I don't understand all the people have an emote that's like a butt emote and it's literally like a human butt. Like, I don't know. Like, what is this emote? You, what's the use case of this? I've seen emotes that are, I think Quiz has a duck, but I've seen like a Sonic that shows Sonic's tail. It's like, that's a different image than some person's butt. Uh, you heard wrong, Iculus. Is that a tier 3? I thought that was tier 2. Uh, chat, I need to take a quick break. Uh, I'll be right back. It's gonna play ads during the break. They help support the stream. Feel free to take a break yourself. Be right back. It is. Do they not know about it? I, I can never judge where it's at. That's the second time that's happened, man. I need to learn that or something.
Hey. Don't you do it. Oh. Nice. <laughs> that was fun. That was a cool level. Very difficult, though. Boost, man. I hate when I die. Died, he died to something else. In the first place just died randomly. Dude, look at my shield health. Where are y'all? One more. Oh my god, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Harley! I know, Harley! I did it, Harley, I know! I know! Save the game! Oh my god! I hate American cheese. I don't like American cheese at all. Hey, we did it. Very cool level. Okay. <clears throat> There's a huge turnout for today's race at the Broom Tioga Twitch Center. Boomer. What a Twitch we are Boomer. About to begin the fourth race in the Outdoor National Series. Three, two, <laughs> one.
that noise? Is that the song? It sounded like somebody crashed. This is actually my other account. You wouldn't know the other one. It goes to a different school. <laughs> you would be magic card. Magikarp's pretty good. <laughs> no, this is Travis Pastrana. The guy who did a double backflip. score three touchdowns in a game as far as I knew. I mean, most people who bought this probably got it from, like, the bargain bin or whatever. Because nobody bought it and they wanted to lose, get rid of inventory. <laughs> this is not a good game. It's easy. It's definitely a positive. <laughs> the big four zero. Uh, Cactus, thank you for the 40 month resub tier 2. I appreciate it. I have like 63 kill count at Criara. No drop. Scam game. Gear? No, that would be bad. <laughs> I have decent success using Carol's top and Varex skirt. I can get, depends on my hit RNG. I can get like minimum four kill trips, which is decent. Yeah, ACB. But now I need a I need a Slayer task. So I've been doing Slayer. I need Slayer anyway.
might help if I grinded ranger boots, but I don't want to grind clues until I finish the master clue on the land. I add Cat Kiss. Ugh. I feel like Cat Kiss is on par with Hot Friend. They're not like a dog kiss. We'll only add Cat Kiss if we get a dog emote of equal or better quality. <laughs> I'm not adding that one. Not better than Pot Friend, that would be literally any emo. You missed marbles? Rip. There's gonna be marbles today. Barb's doing marbles tomorrow. I'm gonna enter and win and pick a game. He'll surely love my game choice. <laughs> oh, what was that one yeah. game somebody picked? I just remember people dying in it and going like, and then just blood splatter everywhere, like, way too aggressively. I think he was using a katana. <laughs> like a aggressive sheep bah when somebody died. No more heroes. Uh, Tetrasphere, Barb would probably hate it, because he's colorblind. It's... The color of the shape is way more relevant than the actual shape of it. Dogging. <laughs> Heck is this? What's that guy doing to that poor doggy? What was I just talking Three, about? Two, one. Oh, I think I'd pick Sin and Punishment for Barb to play. Why 
wonder if he has the switch online. I think the other one had 10 weeks, I'm not sure. Whoa, where am I going? What is this? No, Barb would quit that game. I'm pretty sure he already is vaguely aware of it being garbage. I mean, I definitely see myself playing Sin and Punishment again. I don't know about Tetrisphere, like, it's fun, but... God, why does it look like you gotta go that way? Like, the one mode is not really any different from the one I did, and then the puzzle mode was not as fun. I have played Bust a Move again. I don't remember when. It was a while ago. I don't know. I said I would beat ultra hard at 10k subs, because I don't want to do it. But if I had 10k subs, I'd wipe away my tears with dollar bills. Modern one. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of excited to play my PlayStation. I don't know how it'll fit in with a stream or YouTube. The thing is, I'm really enjoying Mario Maker. I'm also getting the itch to play SMW. I find when a streamer plays a hack and I see them, like, really annoyed by it, that's when I want to play SMW again. I'm seeing Barb play Bear in a Shell and oh, like, yeah. hating it. I'm like, I want to play this. It looks good. Uh, the Almighty Nippler, thank you for the two-month resub with Prime Gaming two in a row. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, it's in Australia. I kind of want to get my Super Nintendo HDMI modded and use that instead. Maybe sell the NT or something. I'd love to have all HDMI modded original hardware. Like an HDMI modded PS5, that'd be sick.
Uh, they did post, the people who did the N64 Digital, they posted, like, they updated their website, and there's a page on there for a PS2 Digital. And that certainly has my interest. How many tracks? I have no idea. <laughs> For Game Boy Color. Yeah, I guess for a handheld console, you'd need, like, to even get it to output stuff at all. This is on, I guess, normal, medium, like the mid-grade. Getting your steak cooked medium. Kind of like a steak scale. Like rare would be easy, medium would be like normal, and well done would be hard, because you gotta have exquisite taste buds to appreciate well done. Only the top food enjoyers can appreciate it. care man ketchup's good ketchup on a steak would be good i don't think i've ever had it but why would that not be good did you put ketchup on a burger I'm like reading chat and just kind of slamming into the walls here. <laughs> this game <laughs> is so brainless, you don't gotta focus at all. I don't like mayonnaise, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I mean, do you not think steak on a bun with like... cheese, ketchup, mustard, mayo, pickle, whatever you like on your burger? Why would that not just taste like a burger? Honestly, that would be a better than a burger, right? That should taste even better. They dip their chips in mayo. No, the only thing I remember seeing is chips and gravy. like poutine but without the cheese part.
No, they don't have cheese. It's just chips and gravy. I ate it and I got sick, so I don't think I'll ever have poutine. Well, they didn't mess it up. It tasted great. It just made me sick. I don't know, like some people drink milk, and then they're like, oh god, I don't feel so well. Will you be on YouTube? No, I'm gonna make sure to block your name out. You might think I'll forget, but I won't. I don't know, I guess that's what's... I'm just not that into steak, like... Significantly more expensive than chicken, and I like chicken at worst the same as steak. But I usually like it more. Well, that's what it is, you season chicken. Apparently, seasoning steak is like taboo. I don't know, people get upset. Up there, you, it has natural flavor. <laughs> hey, we won! Combined a circuit. <laughs> Today's race is at Red Bud. We are all set for the first race of the overall combined championship series. Three, two, one. Uh, it hasn't mentioned the rumble pack. Usually, because it's saving to the memory card, usually if it does, it'll be like, you may now use the rumble pack. <laughs> I like bacon.
If they want food poisoning, you could try arsenic. This looks fun, it's pretty mindless, like you don't even got to attempt to try. Like I, I don't touch the brake, I'm just holding A and pressing left and right. Usually in motorcycle games you gotta adjust like your tilt, whatever you call it. Like when you land on a slope, if you wanna land properly, we don't even do that in this. Philly cheese steak. Don't they use them? Dude, I hate American cheese. It actually ruins burgers for me. I can't, like, literally any other cheese melt better so that everybody use that. I don't like pickles. Does pineapple belong on pizza? I guess if you like it. I don't like pineapple, like in general. does not belong on pizza. I saw this janky pizza on uh, on Reddit. It was <laughs> when he put down a tortilla and put ketchup and American cheese slices on it. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Like, I never had tuna. I read somewhere that something crazy, like over 90% of tuna in the world is fake. Like the food, not the fish, tuna. But when you're eating tuna, it's extremely likely that it's not actually tuna. They probably serve American cheese at McDonald's where you live, Gib. Like in Australia, you don't find American cheese at the grocery store, but McDonald's uses it. I don't know where they're getting it. Travis, 
Oh shoot. Okay, I was looking at chat and it hurt my chances of winning there. Dude, it's wild. The I think the biggest difference in quality <laughs> from Australia and America is Subway. Like, Subway there is pretty good. Here, it's like depressing. Subway's not bad, it's just like, I would never go there and pay for food there, unless it's the only choice, probably, I'd do something else. I think they're, uh, when they did the $5 foot long, it, like, started hurting their profit a lot, and they downgraded their ingredients from that. Yeah, I played Cuphead with Delta. I can't remember if we beat it or not. I think we got to the like dice rolling guy and never beat it. No, there's invisible walls. Yeah, I don't think Subway's veggies are the problem. <laughs> Their bread is a former shell, a shell of its former self. It's so much worse now. <laughs> the cheese is much thinner than it used to be. The meat, much less. <clears throat> well, they got rid of the honey oat bread. Of course, that started getting worse and worse. It just before they got rid of it, it just looked like wheat bread with like a couple oats on top, <laughs> and then they just stopped having it. <laughs> they all crap. <laughs> oh, this game. Oh my goodness. Also, when you get your sandwich toasted at Subway, I don't know if they used to toast it longer or they're using less heat or something now. It's like barely toasted. Like if I get my sandwich toasted, I'm expecting like a audible crunch when I take a bite.
Yeah, Subway's bacon is definitely not good. It doesn't, like, taste bad, but it's lower tier bacon. What the heck was that? Yeah, I need to focus, apparently. I'm getting wrecked. Anyway, the subway in Australia, the bread was very nice, and it was actually toasted. I also really liked how they had shredded carrots you could get. It's hard for me to judge fruits and veggies there versus here, though, because I didn't consider that I'm in West Virginia. Like, if I lived in, like, I don't know, Florida or California, I'd probably get way better fruits and veggies there, too. I don't try to sell West Virginia. I actively advise against it. Did Jimmy John's... I feel like Jimmy John's is less worth it than Subway. Like, I just feel like they go to the grocery store and buy, like, the... Oscar Mayer turkey or something. It's like, why am I paying for this? <clears throat> Jersey Mike's is extremely good, but it costs a lot. My favorite sandwich place is Penn Station, but that's like, it's not local, but it's regional. I think like, the east and southeast US maybe? I think it's in North Carolina. Yeah, Penn Station's fries, they might be the best I've had, like, they're so good. I mean, to be fair to Subway, Penn Station costs a noticeable amount more, but it's definitely enough of an upgrade in quality to be like, yeah, let's... I'd rather have this than Subway. Although Subway's gotten expensive. Gone are the $5 foot long. I think it's like $5 some 6 inch subs now. <laughs> Maybe it's $6 some foot longs. I mean, every place is expensive currently because of everything being expensive. But I mean, before all this economy current stuff subway was more expensive <laughs> 16 inches now uh, foot longs enough for me
I think Jersey Mike's you get like nine inches, but it's significantly thicker, so it fills me up. A lot of times when local food places open here, they kind of suck. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm sorry. That's... I like the local Mexican place, the local Chinese place. But there's not any, like, burger fry place. I'm still convinced there's n Taco oh, Bell has a monopoly. Yeah. You cannot get Taco Bell food anywhere else. I'll be honest, I've never been to Checkers. There is one. Maybe I should try it. Uh, Todd Gear, thank you for the 21 month resub. I appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, Del Taco doesn't even exist here. It's literally Taco Bell. And like, before you come at me with the get some real Mexican... I'm saying Taco Bell isn't even Tex-Mex, it's just like... It's own thing. Can't get a Taco Bell taco at a Mexican place. It'll be way different. <laughs> there used to be 7-Eleven here. I don't really think there is anymore. Uh, we have this thing called Sheets. And it's way better than 7-Eleven. Fajitas is like the closest you can get to Taco Bell, I think. Uh, hang on. I thought the dogs were fighting. However, it turned out there was a rabbit outside in Harley. She was protecting me. I thank her dearly. I don't know what the difference is. It was one of them. Alright. Taco Bell, here's my take. Taco Bell has the best taco seasoning of all time. And my reasoning 
because Taco Bell has horrible quality beef. But it still tastes really good! So like, they gotta be doing something crazy. Like, this shouldn't taste good, but it does. <laughs> oh, we need to sneak into that lab. My uncle worked at Taco Bell. He says it's his favorite job he's ever had. He's like a high-end software executive now. I think he just liked it because he likes Taco Bell and he got to eat there whenever he worked. <laughs> I, don't know, I feel like working at fast food. I don't know what would be worse, like working at fast food or working in some sort of retail. Maybe being the customer facing person at fast food would be similar to retail. Working in. Oh, I feel like being a teacher would be alright. Like, I'm just talking about the job itself, not like your pay and all this stuff. I feel like t being a teacher would have a lot of really nice moments, and I'm sure there would be horrible days, but... There's definitely kids that you like. As far as teaching, I feel like middle school would be the worst. In my high school, the football coach was our health coach, and he was also like 400 pounds. And it's like... I don't know. We didn't learn anything. We just did Sudokus all day. So I, I learned how to do Sudokus because of that class, so I did learn something. I just didn't learn health. I learned what a lipid is. And I also learned why they offer money-back guarantees on all those TV ads. Because he was like, we made a big deal out of this. He's like, you guys ever see those commercials on TV? They let you buy like a mattress and they say money-back guarantee after a year, blah, blah. Like, how do they do that? How do they make money? He's like, shipping and handling. Like, he just just revealed, like, the ultimate government secret. It's like... <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. We, did, we had, like, a week of lessons on, like, scams or something like that, which actually I feel is 
important in a health course, I would say. They should rebrand health to just be like life. Yeah, I had RuneScape, but not everybody. I had a friend in college. He got scammed buying a truck. What just happened? How did that happen? What was that? <laughs> I like flipped through the ground or something. Yeah, he got scammed buying a truck. He found it online on Auto Trader. And they like post everywhere, make payments through autotrader.com, blah blah. And like this guy had these pictures of this truck on an army base, and he's like, Yeah, I'm in the military, so I move around a lot. I'll uh, bring you the truck whenever we leave base. Like, like, you gotta wire me money through Western Union, blah blah. He'd never seen this truck in person, and he, he bought it. It's over $10,000. Uh, I couldn't believe it, I was like, watching a disaster in slow motion. I don't know, I guess the guy was pretty convincing. But yeah, that's like, uh... I had to pay an immigration lawyer recently. And I knew it was a legit law firm and everything. I've been working with them for a while now, but... I had to pay them with a wire transfer, because... I didn't live in Australia, so that, I guess, they didn't want to use PayPal or any of that stuff. So I went to my bank, and the guy was lecturing me for like 10 minutes about like, how do you know this isn't a scam, blah blah, like, why can't you get a lawyer here? I'm like, because he's an immigration lawyer. <laughs> it's, I'm not immigrating to the United States. It's my bank account, man. Just let me wire the money. I think he thought I was like a kid or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, chat. Yeah, I got a visa that essentially... I don't know if there is a direct student visa, but the visa I have, if I wanted to attend a semester of school, I could. I just didn't understand he was asking, like, why can't you get a lawyer that's in America? And I'm like... Because... That's, I don't even know if that's a thing, like, I feel like your lawyer would be in Australia. If they were in some random country that wasn't Australia, then that would be very suspect. I mean, a lawyer in America to get you a visa for another country, I don't know, I've never done it, but makes sense that you would work with a lawyer from the country. <laughs> I 
I was asking about, like, is there not, like, a visa where I can just be my streaming business in Australia? And he's like, oh, they do offer entrepreneur, entrepreneur, how do you say it? Entrepreneurial visas. Victory Screech! Uh, thank you for the Victory Screech. And I was like, oh yeah, send me info on that. And it was like, you have at least two million dollars in the bank. And I was like, oh. I don't think I, I don't think I qualify for this. I guess that's how rich people get to live wherever they want. An entrepreneurial visa. Uh, one of my friends is obsessed with monorails. All he talks about, man. Monorails this, mon monorails that. He's just got such a one-track mind. Uh, Alright chat, I need to take a quick break. I will be right back. Uh, it's going to play some ads during the break. They help support the stream. Feel free to take a break yourself. Be right back. Ah, oh, didn't get world record. <laughs> I love this mood. It didn't get as big as Mario Maker 1. Like, I don't know, the Mario Maker 1 community felt a lot more tight-knit. And it could just be because my stream's bigger. Like, there's just more people here, so I'm not as close with the average viewer. Oh, yeah. What's in the door? 
Oh. <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> Nice. I hate lag so much. Oh my god. Uh, hello Scott, how's it going? thing I've ever done. Oh my god. Holy crap, dude. Oh, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Cuz he was like just consistently messing this up and I was like it can't be that hard. But I'm also like really good at those games. So maybe it is. <laughs> nice. Really cool. in there? Yo! Nice. <clears throat> That's a good question. I, don't, I wonder if that scenario has ever come up. What the heck? Why are there so many of those? God. Ah, oh, sorry, I had to let the dogs out. Ah, uh, Fantire Ninja, thank you for the 23 month resub with Prime Gaming. I appreciate it.
What the heck? Uh, Riker1, thank you for 10 gift subs to Aldwolf, Boy 7 Mommy Up, Buttercup, B Dunn, D Maniac 206, IHawk 83, Sinky Derg, Travioli 82, Native API, and Random Coaster Troy. Thank you, Riker1. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, Tilted Skirm, thank you for gifting a sub to Riker1. Oh, yeah. And Wackaby, thank you for the five month resub with Prime Gaming. I appreciate it. I don't have to pay attention to this game at all. As long as I can see it out of my peripheral vision. This is definitely the worst motorcycle game. I don't know, it's easy, it's just pointless. <laughs> you don't really do anything. We'll see how the freestyle mode is. <laughs> yeah, it's not frustrating at all, that's good. What was Activision doing back then? Like, do they have N64 games? Call of Duty didn't exist, right? I had the original Call of Duty. It was a pretty good game. Call of Duty Finest Hour. Oh yeah, Activision. That's right. They published Neversoft's games. And then killed them. They killed my boy. <laughs> Mech War? I don't even know what that is. Oh, they did Vigilante 8. Oh, I wish we got Tony Hawk 3 and 4 remakes. The 1 and 2 remake was phenomenal. Like... The online play, I'd say, was pretty lacking. That's really the only issue I can think of. <laughs> Wait, Tony Hawk himself did? What the heck? How are they going to say no to Tony Hawk? Dude, Underground 1's really good, but Underground 2, I replayed all the Tony Hawks leading up to the remake. I didn't finish Tony Hawk Underground 2. <laughs> that does not age well. <laughs> that was the age of, like... Steve-O and Bam Margera's peak popularity, and it just is not <laughs> a relic of the past. Out of the gate, it 
you met Tony Hawk? Did you recognize him? <laughs> American Wasteland. I love that game. Tons of people don't recognize Tony Hawk. <laughs> He's got all kinds of stories about it. Likely story, Bubba. I know you're shilling for big Tony Hawk. Uh, Epic Game Store has the rights to the Tony Hawk remake. Have I lost a race yet? Nope. One of my favorite videos this guy made, uh, it's probably still on YouTube. It was like a hundred things you didn't know about Tony Hawk, like the Tony Hawk series. And he would be like, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and he'd start listing these things, and then he'd be like, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, and he did it for all the games. <laughs> and then he gets to the hundredth fact, and you're like, oh man, this is gonna be something crazy. And he's like, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. Did you know that this game sucks? And then the video just ends. If you've never seen Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5, it's a disaster. It was literally put out as quickly as possible because they had a contract. They had to make one by a certain date. It is awful. Texas. For the overall series championship. Three, two, one. The game round. I think the Tony Hawk legacy got saved by the remakes of 1 and 2. Of course, 
now the legacy is becoming the series got abandoned again, but if that's the final game, it was an extremely good one. No, I'm just uploading one per week for now. It's all I can handle. Try as I might to go faster. I just can't. I literally could, but it would become... I'd definitely get burnt out, like, horribly, and it would be bad. Have I come close to losing a race? Nope. Maybe the very first one? I don't know. Like, if I could get somebody else to write the video for me and all I had to do was read it off, then yeah, we could pump them out like crazy, but definitely can't afford that. And I don't even know if I could find someone. Well, the AI's been ahead. I've crashed and fallen into last place. <laughs> no, I don't take notes as I play. No, I've never been to Canada. Is this game fun? Not really. It's not, like, actively bad, but it's just pretty generic and boring. <laughs> I could get more videos out if I streamed less, but I don't want to do that either. Just, we're stuck. Trap. This is our scenario. <laughs> Easy solution, never sleep. True. I wonder what it costs to have somebody write a video like that for you. Anybody ever hired a ghostwriter? Chat GPT. Hey, can you write me a video script for beating every N64 game Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000? <laughs> Dude, that thing's crazy. I saw somebody, uh... Somebody asked it to write a plug-in for Old School RuneScape, and it was, like, really good. I was like, what the heck? Oh, shoot. Yeah, you get what you pay for. I'm, I'm just curious. A lot of YouTubers don't write their own videos. Somebody else does it. I wonder what that costs. I don't think I could afford it.
The AI wouldn't object. But I have to know about my personal playthrough anyway. Pay in gum. Hello, Lil and Lloyd. I'm about to overlap this guy. Ten minutes for a hundred sixty dollars. It's not bad, but I don't think I just don't think it would work. I don't know. They'd probably want me to give them notes or something. And that's the whole hard part is I don't know. Like, I know Gerard, the completionist, his rider's like, in the stream watching him while he plays. <laughs> yeah, if you hit the other people, oh, usually they crash yeah. and you don't. <laughs> Uh, Salamis, thank you for the 15-month resub with Prime Gaming. <laughs> yeah, isn't Mike Matei the guy who actually played the games? There's a huge turnout for today's race in Minnesota. We are all set for the 12th round of the overall series. <clears throat> Three, two, one. You know what? I'll give Elon Musk credit. Since he's taken over, I've stopped seeing all this Minecraft trending nonsense on Twitter. I don't see some, like, Dream did what? God. <laughs> Dream was trending on Christmas, oh god. Still see it. Maybe I just don't look at the trending. I think it's because Twitter's identified me as like a gaming account, and that's what Twitter thinks gaming is, is Minecraft. So it's like, oh man, this guy wants to learn about Minecraft drama. Yeah, I blocked him too. Every time he would tweet, it would be at the top of my timeline. Dude, I'm telling you, the Minecraft stands are wild. 
I saw it in person at TwitchCon. <laughs> like, I'm not like a Twitch apologist, like, oh, Twitch can do no wrong. Like, there were all these glaring issues at TwitchCon. But one thing I saw is that Twitch had no, like, I don't know, I guess security or something's the word, like, keeping people from misbehaving. I don't understand what Twitch is supposed to do when they open the con and people are screaming and sprinting like there's fire, like a wave of fire coming from behind and they're trying to run for their life. Like, I don't, I don't know, what do you do? <laughs> like they're literally acting like imminent death is right behind and they've got to get away. I was really thankful I had like a content creator badge thing for the race because I got to go in an hour early. <laughs> I, I was in shock. I'm reading about these people like I was shoved and pushed and blah blah and I'm like I mean I don't know. Like I'm sure there's something, like, I guess let people in slowly, but I don't even know how long it would take. It already takes forever to get in how they had it. It was just like, and it was strictly the people, they were looking for the Minecraft, wherever the Minecrafters were. It was a wild thing to see. I really wish I recorded it. And the whole Szechuan sauce at McDonald's thing was a weird thing, too. I don't know what was up with that. People who've never left their house, I guess, finally going somewhere? I don't know. <laughs> it's nugget sauce. I'm sure you can find similar sauce at a grocery store. Uh, Dynamo CG, thank you for the five month resub with Prime Gaming. Yeah, I know about the Rick and Morty thing. I'm saying the people's response is what I don't understand. I think some people just see, like, mass food workers as almost subhuman, so they can just treat them like dirt. Like, dude, if they weren't working there right now, you wouldn't be getting your McDonald's. They have an automated McDonald's, and it's experimental. And there's still humans making the food. That definitely seems how food is trending, though. Like, I 
Yeah, I understand the lyrics. He's saying, they man not Meg. They man not Meg. Leave me alone. I know. I think we're getting close to being done, at least. And also, at least it's easy. If this game was actually hard, I'd be so salty right now. <laughs> There's some games that are just... You gotta beat it. We're not testing every N64 game. This may not even be slightly challenging. But I have to beat it. We are about to begin the 14th race of the overall combined championship series. <laughs> Three, two, one. Chad, I don't know how I feel about this. So, our dogs had puppies. We found new homes for all the puppies. There's still two left. But their owners haven't taken them yet. One of them is in Tennessee, and we gave them to the owner yesterday. My mom gave him Mojo's favorite toy to, like, make him feel less lonely. And, like, what about Mojo? That was his favorite toy. Yeah, it's my mom's friend. It's like her sister or something that lives in Tennessee. They were here for Christmas. I remember I gave Mojo, well, my dad bought it, but I gave it to Mojo. Because we'd come home after a long way away, so they were real excited. And then I threw the toy at him. I was like, here, look here, Mojo. And he got extremely excited. He was in, like, doggy heaven. And now it's gone. Do you know them? Probably. I know everybody who lives in West Virginia. It's not the same. It won't be the same toy. Oh, it was like this pink dragon. Well, Harley's finally starting to act normal again. She was actually playing with the puppies. It was really cool to see. Although there's only two puppies now. <laughs> okay, something recently... Wait, the Whitakers. Who's Jack Whitaker? Is this who I'm thinking of? Is he the lottery guy? Because I think this is what reminded me of it. I saw this, uh, there's this channel I like to watch on YouTube called Sunny V2. And he made a... He made a video about, uh... The dumbest lottery winners. And, uh, I was like, oh, I bet this one guy's on here, because oh, I forget his name. I thought it was Jack Whitaker. Yeah, Jack Whitaker. He's the guy... 
Right, right, right. Yeah, okay. So he was in there. He won the biggest lottery of all time at the time. And he lost everything. And in the video, I was like, oh yeah, he is. He's the he saved him for laughs. In the video, he's talking like, this guy's like a, uh, I don't know, he like helped out at his church or something. And he made him seem like such a good guy. And he was like, no, 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 no. In the video, it presents him as he was taken advantage of, he was just trying to help, blah, blah. So, he mentions in the video that he got robbed. Um, somebody broke into his car and stole $200,000. But in the video, he didn't mention that it was at a strip club. And, like... Why does he have $200,000 in his car? And he's like, going around boasting that he's this lottery winner with all this money. And he'd like, he said in the video, like, he was trying to help. He'd like, throw cash out of the window while he drove by. And I'm like... That's just... I don't understand. Like, he was making him out to be the saint, and it was covered so differently here in West Virginia when it happened. Like, he was blowing the money, partying like crazy, and all this. Like, I don't know. I was like, not how I remember it going down. It's like, revising history here. But it's like, does nobody question why he's got $200,000 in cash in the car at the strip club? Like, how do you get robbed for $200,000 in cash? And it, it wasn't once, it happened twice. Like, why do you, why do you have that cash? For literally anything, like <laughs> why? When you're known as the guy who won the biggest lottery, you're going around bragging about it. Is that the same Whitaker somebody was talking about? Some YouTube channel or something? That's why I thought that sounded familiar. I don't know anything about the family other than that guy when he won the lottery. Well, yeah, he had probably over a hundred million, like, straight cash from the cash out he took, because it was well over 300 million lottery winning. The thing is, he didn't disclose, or it wasn't, oh, people snooped around and found out he bragged about it. Like, he'd go out to the club and be like, yeah, I'm the go. Won the giant lottery, pretty cool, huh? Like, <laughs> I just don't know how you have two hundred thousand in dollars in cash. Like, what do you? I don't even know if you're really like going out for a. Absurd night on the town. Could you spend that much? I don't know. I don't understand. I mean, this was 
early 2000s. Cash was decently prevalent back then. I don't know, it's just such a wild thing. He spent three million in one night. See, I don't even know how that can happen. I'm sure there's some bottle of alcohol that's stupidly priced, but I don't know. still on your dresser. You should eat it. Uh, it can't be too many left. I used cash like crazy in college. I don't know why. I could have achieved the same result just handing my debit card, but... ATM would dispense $2 bills? What? Oh, hey, we won. That was the last one. <laughs> so did we not unlock anything? Oh, hey! The credits rolled gaming. Well, now we definitely beat it. <laughs> uh, we're not. I still want to check out the freestyle mode, and there's also a create a track. We'll see what that is. Will I play a FIFA game to honor Pele? It's not up to me. <clears throat> uh, somebody said this game has an Offspring song in it. And there are a lot of people in the credits. Genocide performed by the all offspring. Bob Piper at North Tahoe Motorsports. Ooh, doggy. Freestyle. The crater ramps. Why not available? 
Why not available? How do you get the moon? and down do nothing. You can't tilt your bike or whatever. I just did a headstand. I go in the crater. Alright, well that was fun. <clears throat> Track editor. Empty. Dude, this track's awesome! How do you make a turn? Super jump. Oh, here we go. you had a starting gate. So many rules! So hard. There we go. This is a complete track! How is this not complete? What do you mean, fix them?
How are they going the wrong way? How are they rotated wrong? Like this? Oh, these. I see what y'all are saying. I just didn't know the terminology. Yes! Let's see how my track is. Oh my god, this is awesome! What a turn! Soft locked it. <laughs> Sir Wind would like a joke. Why do dentist patients feel dumb? Because they take away their wisdom teeth. Let's right. Exorcist. What is all this? Random bone. Fat boy. It's like Earthworm Jim. <laughs> oh, shoot. You gotta give a number, Bunny Link. That's not how this works. Oh, right. I turned on high gravity. That's why it's not jumping high. gravity <clears throat> oh god what is this uh, Jesus I want pizza enjoy your taco gravity's not that different also it's snowing Oh, 
Right now it's raining. <laughs> the weather just keeps shifting, I guess. Alright. I guess that's enough of that. Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000 has been beaten. Uh, but before I give my final thoughts, I gotta take an ad break. So I will be right back, and then we will find out what we're playing next. Be right back. No, I should have thrown him into the plant. I'm an idiot, that was... Pretty big misplay by me. What? How did I get hurt? That actually didn't make much sense. Disagree with that one. What are we fighting? Boom Boom? Yes! <laughs> oh my god, I'm the champion of stealing boss keys. <laughs> I've done it like four times. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Uh, thank you, Jeff. I haven't beaten the level yet, but I guess, I guess that's also worth, uh, Worth a victory screech. How many for a new slot? Uh, so the way gift sub or the way um sub points. What am I saying? The way unlocking emotes work is it gets the more subs you get, the more you need to get more slots. So like. I didn't realize you could spring carry like that. That's a lot faster. How did they go so fast? <clears throat> That's an impressive record. I don't know where they cheat. Uh, Alright, chat. Oh, wait, real quick. Uh... <clears throat> Funny Link, you have to pick. Oh, you. S okay, I'll assume you said one. Groovy Dex, one. Nope. Funny Link, one. Nope. Star 166! Nope. Unlucky. Alright. Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000 has been beaten. <laughs> uh, the game's pretty mediocre. <laughs> it controls decent, but it's just controlled boring. Like, you don't do anything, you know? Uh... 
<laughs> the uh, the music would be better. It's just the N64 struggles to have good music, but yeah. <laughs> That's not my fault! Uh... Yeah. I will admit the cheat codes made me laugh. They were pretty good. It's just, there's not really a reason to ever play this. I'll give this one... A 2.5 out of 10. Why is this song so loud? Say Donkey Kong? Uh, the difficulty, it's extremely easy, but I had to play the game. So I'll give it a 1 out of 10 difficulty because I actually had to do something. <laughs> uh, Alright, we are beating every N64 game ever made. And whenever we beat a game, we choose the next one to play. And... The way we will do it is with a marble race. Give me a second to set it up. <clears throat> and then we will find out what we're playing next. <clears throat> the puppies are whining. Alright, we'll do a random track, Mountain Pass. 206 games on the list. <clears throat> we have not been here yet. Could be Biofreaks, or Blues Brothers, or Revolt. Let's see what it is. Three, two, one, go. And the marbles are off. I see two entries for Goldeneye there. Pro Shinon Mahjong currently in the lead. Uh, NBA Zone in the Zone 2000 as well. <clears throat> uh, Torok 2 coming down. And it is Pro Shinon Mahjong Suomono. No, Kirby 64 is actually the first one out. Uh, Pro Shinon Mahjong right behind in second. Kirby 64 getting held up a little there. And that allows Mahjong to take the lead. And uh, we're coming into a little bit of a roadblock here with these boulders. It's causing a lot of league changes. I see NFL Blitz as well as International Superstar Saga. And this boulder is going with the marbles. And that allows Kirby64 to capitalize on that error from Mahjong. And Kirby64 has the clear lead now. Mahjong and Mia Ham Soccer, not too far behind. And Kirby64 getting held up a little bit there on that turn. NFL Blitz trying to capitalize on this. And coming into the snow, NFL Blitz does take the advantage and come out in the lead now. It's NFL Blitz followed by Kirby64, Mia Ham Soccer, Pro Shinong, Mahjong, Suomono. And now everybody, there's just a roadblock in Zor, Zor Maju, the Japanese game. Our last game on the list, currently coming ahead. And now it's a Bug's Life as well as F-Zero X. And we got some marbles being launched in the air. They could potentially get a shortcut from this. As we see Battle Tanks 2 attempting to go for the shortcut, it doesn't quite pay off. 
and a few games actually do dual heroes with a big advantage now castlevania legacy of darkness hot wheels turbo racing mahjong 64 as well dual heroes the clear favorite right now but hot wheels turbo racing now in the lead and we got dual heroes and hot wheels turbo racing in a neck and neck battle coming into the very end and they're boulders causing an absolute roadblock and this gives castlevania and mahjong 64 the chance to come back Automobile Lamborghini is coming through as well. It could be anybody's game. It's down to these five games, folks. The boulder is going to despawn soon. Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue is trying to steal the show as well. And Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue sneaks through the rubble around the crushed boulder. And in insane fashion, I don't see a change. Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue sneaks by unexpected what an upset power rangers had no business winning this race but it did power rangers whoa we got marbles everywhere what an upset power rangers wasn't even in the running anybody who bet on that made a lot of money today Oh, uh, we got the final marbles coming in. <clears throat> Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. It has been decided.